Oncologists are physicians who specialize in diagnosing and treating cancer. Many oncologists work long and irregular hours. Oncologists may travel between their offices and hospitals to care for their patients. Oncologists typically need a bachelor's degree, a degree from a medical school which takes four years to complete, and three to seven years in internship and residency programs. Oncologists order tests for nurses and other healthcare staff to perform, review test results to identify any abnormal findings, and help patients take care of their health by discussing topics such as proper nutrition and hygiene. Oncologists need to have communication skills, compassion, and detail orientation. Being an oncologist is rewarding in so many ways. Just having that overall potential and outlook that what I'm doing in the lab could potentially improve the quality of life of a cancer patient, that is by far the most rewarding aspect of what I'm doing. I do the biopsy at the beginning of their therapy, and then after they've received chemotherapy, I do I remove their tumors, and then at the end of therapy, I see them go, leave the hospital as they do very well. So it's a wonderful continuum to be a part of. I get to experience the mother's hug after I remove all the tumors in the operating room, and I also get to see them as they get better and leave the hospital. So it's a wonderful profession to have. Research really drives me um, to try to find uh, an early diagnosis for ovarian cancer or to help figure out how do we prevent certain, certain illnesses. If a young woman is interested in volunteering and helping an organization, a great place to start is maybe some of the resources that are helping a loved one who's been affected. You can volunteer at the local hospital, maybe where your family member has been treated, or there are a number of different patient advocacy groups that work in different cancer types. So there are breast cancer foundations, leukemia foundations. Um, there are foundations for just about every cancer type. To keep learning about oncologists, read through the information below.